What's up everybody, welcome back to Bonds Books. Today we're doing a little bit of a different unboxing in that is uh, another limited, well, I did a couple super rare games. This is limited run games, um, which is similar, but in America, basically. Um, and it's for a PC game, which I don't think I've done before, but so, a couple of new things here. Um, this is obviously for Command and Conquer Remastered Collection. Um, so we'll get into what that collection entails once we get in there. Um, but a quick thing, you get, I got this card with it, I don't know if you guys want to see it, but um, there it is. It's, it's shiny, it came with the thing. And uh, yeah, so I played Red Alert, which I think comes in here, I hope it does. <laughs> it looks like it should. But um, I played Red Alert a decent amount when I was little, uh, mainly because my older brother had it and that was what he was into and you know, wanted to copy my uh, older brother. But I always did enjoy it and seeing the remaster, at least you know, Command and Punk stuff made me interested in it and then they announced this collector's edition and I pre-ordered it. I think it's been out digitally for quite some time now um, and physicals only recently just come this month. Um, but yeah, we can check out the box. It's very shiny, so hopefully you guys can see it decently enough. Not all these reflections. It's been so long since I ordered this, I don't actually remember what's in the collection. I probably should have checked that before I started this video. But um, now we're gonna roll with it. We've already we've already cracked open the plastic. Uh, because I believe this left side's Red Alert, isn't it? And then this right side's Command and Conquer. We'll see. So, on the inside you'll see we have a bunch of stuff. Um, a whole bunch of stuff. Let me, uh, I don't know how to, I don't know how best to approach this. Let's, uh, let's, let's take a look. So we've got some, like, laminated pieces of, uh, tech trees. Soviet tech tree. Might just be Command and Conquer. But I definitely bought it based on my nostalgia for Red Alert. Um, more tech tree. GDI tech tree. So useful info flashcards. Um, so, oh, so we've got some stickers here, I think. Stickers? Yeah, there's four stickers. Apologies if you can hear the rain. It makes a lot of noise on my roof. Um, roof's fairly low. Okay, so we're gonna bust open this poster and hope I can fit it all in. So here's Command and Conquer. Come on. Come on. We can sort of get it all in. I'm just gonna have to do this a little bit, huh? Ah, red alert, okay. <laughs> I thought it was, and then I started doubting myself, and then I convinced myself it wasn't. And then I convinced myself it was, and then I was just completely lost. Um, <laughs> it, it, it's been... Oh, no. So yeah, that's the... Uh, it's a double-sided poster. If I can figure out how to... Hold this... Yeah. Hold it the wrong way. That way. Yeah, it is folded, so you will have those crease lines on, like, you know, a rolled one. Um, so what else have we got in here? We have all sorts of stuff. There's all sorts of stuff in here, man. Alright. Man and Conquer Remaster Collection Digital Assets Collection. So it contains digital assets from... Oh, sweet, so you get a digital version of the art book. I don't know if there's a physical version of the art book in here. We'll find out. Um... Digital version of the tech trees, which I've already shown you. Digital version of the posters. So, I mean, theoretically, if you uh, had the capability, you could print a, a better one out than the one they folded in. And the faction icons. That's pretty cool. So, you got like a backup for that. Um, gee, let's go ahead and open it up and see if the, uh, what the disc looks like. Obviously, in this very, very retro jewel case. 
like do you even get stuff in jewel cases anymore? I feel like even like music albums are in like cardboard. Maybe because these things would break all the damn time. So there's just a singular disc in here. What is it? CD, DVD, some form of disc. That's not any kind of booklet, just a single piece of card. Um, remastered original Santa. And then this is the biggest thing they did to it. I believe they spent a lot of time just completely remastering the uh, um, soundtrack. Sorry, my brain is completely fried. Um, so we've got Command and Conquer on disc 1 and 2, uh, Red Alert on disc 3, 4, and 5, and then Frank Klepeki and Tiberian Suns disc 6. So uh, let me figure out how to get into this without... So we've got one of these uh, kind of double pack jewel cases for this bad boy. Got six discs in here, like, that's insane. Uh, that's got to be the most comprehensive soundtrack I think I've ever seen in a video game. That physically, anyway. Obviously, you get some digital stuff to you a bunch, but um, I'll take a look at that in a minute. So we've got this kind of uh, so you got disc one, disc two, disc three. I'll take a look at that booklet in a second. Disc four, disc five. Six. So let me try and close this without snapping. Okay. Right, so here's the booklet that was inside it. Just one through five. Just six. All songs performed by Frank Lucky and Tobias and Sons. So yeah, a track list. Okay. So you got 24 tracks on this one. 22. Not so much on the red alert one, we've got 16, 17, maybe they're longer? What's this total length? I mean, to about 64 minutes, 70 minutes, 72 minutes, 67 minutes, yeah, so they're about the same length. 76 minutes with red alert, and then just 6, 73 minutes. Like that is a whole lot of Command and Conquer music that you can uh, jam out to outside of your game. Um, yeah, there's a lot in here. Like I said, I ordered this so long ago, I don't fully remember everything that's in it, so this is sort of a surprise to me. So we've got this beanie that looks like it's reversible. Um, yep, so on this outside we've got the Soviet and the... Ah, I forgot the names, damn it. I have these handy tech trees that will tell me, right? No, one's Ally, one's GDI. I don't remember which is which, but one's... Ally, one's GDI, one's Soviet, one's Nod. So I think one's from Red Alert, one's from Command & Conquer, really. But yeah, reversible hat, all four faction seals on it. Um, so yeah, coming up on winter, so. <laughs> now, I'm not really sure if you can order this anymore. I think it might have been like a made-to-order thing. I, th I don't think it was limited in that you had to order it before it ran out. I think they took as many orders as there were and made that many. Um, now we've got these Velcro patches, all of them are like this, I'm not going to peel all of them off, but they come with this thing so you can sew this back bit on and then just Velcro the uh, faction seals on, which again, any hardcore fan is going to lambast me for this, but I do not remember who is who, other than the Soviets, because <laughs> that one's obvious. Um, but you've got all four there again. Right. Art book. So we do have a physical art book as well. This is the digital. That is a thick, thick art book. Let me uh, get that jewel case back just so you can see how thick that art book is. It's thicker than a jewel case. Um, take a quick look through it. So here you go. Legacy versus Remastered. So they obviously have done more than the audio, but the audio is the thing I remember them making a big, big deal about because I think that's what they put the most work into. But it's, it's clear they have put a lot of effort into the whole game all around, which is very, very nice. Uh, we've got some instructions for a couple of figures, which we'll get to 
we have oh USB key. Don't know how big it is, but looks like it should plug into there. So um, so there's a USB key. Uh, I'm not sure how big it is. Uh, I'll put that up on screen maybe if I can find it. Uh, and then that would slot into there. See, uh, it looks like a normal figure with some crystals. And then, bam, USB. It's pretty hidden. So it definitely has to go in that way. So that's pretty cool, like that. Um, we've got some pins, again, looks like the pins are from the factions, and I can't get to them. So we have, they are double backed, or double, double backed? I can't remember the wording for it, but you know, two fasteners on the back so it doesn't spin when you're wearing it, or whatever you put it on. You've got the Soviet. The only one I can remember, <laughs> the, the one with the eagle. This one isn't double back. This one is uh, single. Got the scorpion, which I guess would be the nod. Not so yeah, I, I know not because per of elimination is the other red one. So then one's allies and one's DDI. I want to say this one's the allies, but I could be horribly wrong on that. I do not remember. So that's four pins. Let's move those out of the way. Let's get to these. Uh... Whoa, that's heavy. I'm just going to take them out real quick because the box is somewhat in the way. Right. So we have this tank that is that is that's a weapon that is heavy. Like, <laughs> there's no denying. I don't know if it is it the top rotates a little bit. I don't know. I think that might be it. it just rotates. I don't think it does anything else as far as I can see. But these other two I think might. Um, We've got obelisk figure, battery installation. Okay, so they use like they're not rechargeable. It looks like they use like mini disc batteries, CR 2016 cell batteries. Let's down on the light. Limited one games ink. All right, it's Tesla coil, basically the same deal. Installing or charging. Yep, same type of batteries. I don't know what these do. Let's uh, so we'll pull this tab out. All the buttons make the same noise? The buttons, the two on top make the same noise, and then the bottom two don't appear to be buttons. A little strange. Um, yeah, that's one. Those stuff? I, I, I don't know. Hello? <laughs> oh. Man, that's a retro sound right there. I recognize that. Oh, okay. I think this one. This one pushes down from the top inwards. I mean, that's pretty cool. A little gimmicky. Uh, I'm not sure how much I'm using, but definitely nostalgic, especially this Tesla town. <laughs> that tank, like I said, I mean, a paperweight. A, a, a body weight, like holy, that, that is heavy. 
I don't know what to compare it to, but it, it, it's really dense. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that wraps up everything we got, which was a lot. So we'll do a quick recap. We got the digital asset backup stuff for the physical things we got, basically. The double-sided poster, which I'm not going to open up again. Um, the stickers, which again we have a backup for. We have a backup for the poster also. Original soundtrack, which... Was there a backup for the soundtrack? No. Because that is the dumbest question I think I've asked. Is there a disc backup for the disc? Right now? Wow. I told you my brain was fried. That is... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. But yeah, there's no uh, there's no alternate backup for this backup essentially of this uh, six disc soundtrack from all the <laughs> Red Alert games. We got the art book which does have a backup, a separate backup. Um, and then we have these tech trees, which were again available on that backup disc. We had the, the Tesla. The obelisk. The hefty tank with the uh, moving turret part. USB stick hidden inside this uh, ore deposit. Again, not 100% sure on the size. I'll find that out. Um, we've got four pins for each faction. We have patches for each faction and we have the reversible faction hat so we definitely went heavy on the faction stuff um, but yeah let me know in the comments if you've played this game like I said I think it's been out for a while digitally um, like months like I think it came out like July <laughs> digitally but uh, the physicals only just really come out uh, this month, um, obviously it depends where you live, limited run games isn't like super exact on you know, delivery dates and things um, but yeah, let me know if you've been playing it, if you've been enjoying it if you've played them in the past, if you enjoyed those let me know all that good stuff let me know in the comments below if you want to see a Red Alert 4 I personally would love to see Red Alert 4 maybe I'll go play Red Alert 3 um, I played it a little bit back on 360 but but yeah, um, thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it, if you, especially if you made it this far. I uh, hope you did enjoy it, and if you did, make sure to give me that thumbs up. If you want to see some more content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, then I really, really appreciate it. Um, we are slowly moving up, um, so hopefully we can hit some milestones. Uh, yeah, and if you're already subscribed and you haven't hit that bell, but you want to know when stuff goes live, then make sure to hit that bell. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, as I said in my uh, Destiny 2 Beyond Light Collector's uh, Stranger Edition unboxing, um, which is also up on the channel, uh, along with the Collector's Edition unboxing, uh, but you can get... Uh, you can find those on the channel. Though we're coming up into release season now, so there will be a lot of uh, unboxings hopefully coming out, um, depending on what I can get, etc. Um, so keep an eye out for those. I will quit rambling now so you can get some close-up shots of this stuff. And I hope you're staying safe, hope you're having a good day, and I'll see you next time.